Cloud Bath, the 16th, 17th, and 18th. Yes, and if you'll be so good as to confirm by letter, thank you so much. Goodbye. Have you made up the bill for room 12, Basil? No, I haven't yet, no. Well, they're in a hurry. Polly says they didn't get their alarm call. And Basil, please get that picture up. It's been there for a week. It's been there since Monday, Sybil. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Good morning. <laughs> Friday, set. <sighs> Manuel, there is too much butter on those trays. Okay. There is too much butter on those trays. No, 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 senor. What? Not, not on those trays. No, sir. Uno, dos, tres. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, I'm mucho burro ali. Okay. I'm mucho burro ali. Ah, mantequilla. What? Okay. Mantequilla. Burro is, uh, is, um, uh, e o. <laughs> burro. Burro. Oh, oh, Manuel, oh. Manuel, por, por favor, momento. Si, si, si. I, nothing, dear, I'm just dealing with it. Uh, he speak good, uh, how you say? English. Mantaquilla. Solamente dos. Dos. Well, don't look at me. You're the one who's supposed to be able to speak it. Don't, two pieces. Two each. Arriba, arriba. <laughs> Oh, I don't know why he wanted to hire him, Basil. Because he's cheap and keen to learn, dear. And in this day and age... But why such... did you say you could speak the language? I learned classical Spanish, not the strange dialect he seems to have picked up. Be quicker. <laughs> quicker to train a monkey. Morning, Miss Gatsby. Morning, Miss Tins. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Basil. Yes, dear? Are you going to hang the picture? Yes, I am, dear. Yes, yes. Where? Well, when I've... when I've... hmm? Well, why don't you do it now? Well, I'm doing this, dear. I'm doing the menu. Well, you've got all morning to do the menu. Why don't you hang the picture now? <laughs> well? Yes, all right. I won't do the menu. I don't think you realise how long it takes to do the menu, but no, it doesn't matter. I'll hang the picture now. And if the menus are late for lunch, it doesn't matter. The guests can all come and look at the picture until they are ready, right? Lower. <laughs> Lower. Up a bit. There. Thank you, dear. Thank you so much. I don't know where I'd be without you. Land of the living, probably. <laughs> yes? Uh, could we have our bill, please? Well, well, can you wait a minute? Well, I'm afraid we're a bit late for our train. We didn't get our alarm call. Right! <laughs> I was on a try, you know. We do have staff problems. I'm so sorry it's not all done by magic. Basil, are you doing the menu? No, I'm not doing the menu, dear. I'm doing the bill for these charming people who are in a hurry. Yeah, I'm sorry to cause all this trouble, but the reason we're late is we didn't get our alarm call. Oh, dear, I am sorry. Basil, why didn't they get their alarm call? Because I forgot. I am so sorry I'm not perfect. There you are. There's the bill. Perhaps you'd pay my wife. I have to put the picture up. There aren't any dustbins to be cleaned out. Newspapers! <laughs> Goodbye. See you again. Don't forget the picture, Basil. I won't, dear. Leave it to me. I'm going out now. I expect it to be out when I come back. Drive carefully, dear. <laughs> morning, Major. Morning, Volte. I do apologise for the tardiness of the arrival of your newspaper this morning, Major. I will speak to them again, see if something can be done. Ah, uh, more strikes. Uh, Dustman, post office. Oh, uh, makes you want to cry, doesn't it? Oh. What's happened to the old idea of doing something for your fellow man? Of service. I mean, today, people just... Yes, I'm coming, I'm coming. Wait a moment. <laughs> I treat you like dirt, you know. Of course, it's pure ignorance. With a class of guests. Ah, guests... Dolly Vera made a hundred. Did he? Yeah. Did he really? Good for him. Good old Dolly. Good well, well, well. Ah, oh, thank you, boy. Uh, we'll only stay until Sunday. Right, thank you. Ah, <laughs> oh, I thought you were going out, dear. What's this? I decided, Sybil, to advertise... How much did it cost? Oh, I have... Fifteen? Forty. Forty? I have told you where we advertise. Sybil, I know the hotel business. No, you don't, Basil. Sybil, we've got to try and attract a better class of person. Why? Well, we're losing tone. We're making money. Yes, yes. Just? 
Yes, but now we can try and build up a higher class of clientele. Turn away some of that riffraff. So long as they pay their bills, Basil. Isn't that all that matters to you, Sybil? Money? This advertisement is a waste of £40. One moment. One moment, please. Well? Well? My dear woman, Sir Richard and Lady Morris arriving this evening for two nights. You see, they saw our advertisement in Country Life. I wish they were staying a week. Well, so do I. Might pay for the ad, then. <laughs> so, well, look, if we can attract this class of customer, I mean, the sky's the limit. Basil, 22 rooms is the limit. <laughs> have, you, have you seen the people in room six? They've never even sat on chairs before. They're the commonest, <laughs> vulgarest, most... Uh... Hello. <laughs> Got a room? I beg your pardon? <laughs> Got a room for tonight, mate? I shall have to see, sir. A single? Yeah. No, I'm making a double. I feel lucky today. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Only joking. No, we haven't. What? We haven't any rooms. Good day. Number seven is free, Basil. What? No, uh, Mr. Tone is in number seven, dear. No, he left while you were putting the picture up, Basil. <laughs> you have luggage, sir? Uh, just one case. In the car. The white sports. <laughs> Fill this in, would you, sir? If you can. <laughs> Hope you enjoy your stay, Mr. Brown. Ah, uh, Manuel, uh, would you uh, fetch this gentleman's case from the car outside take to room seven uh, he's not easy for me what he's not easy for me uh, entender ah it's not easy for you to understand manuel we're training him he's from barcelona <laughs> in spain Obtener la valisa okay la valisa nl uh, auto bianco uh, sportif y a la sala uh, siete por favor Pronto? He's impossible. What? He's impossible. Oh, it's perfectly simple! Manuel, <coughs> si va, si busca mi equipaje que este en el automóvil blanco y lo trae a la sala número 7. Eh? Señor, habla español. Oh, solo un poco, lo siento. Oh, no. Pero he olvidado mucho. No, señor, habla muy bien, muy, muy bien. Formidable. Oh, oh. Gracias, gracias. Lo voy a coger ahora. <laughs> Well, if there's anything else, I'm sure Manuel will be able to tell you. As you seem to get on so well together. <laughs> uh, key. in the picture. Don't forget the menu. I beg your pardon. Don't forget the menu. Well, I thought you said you want... Right, I'll do the menu. You could have had them both done by now if you hadn't spent the whole morning skulking in there listening to that racket. Racket? That's Brahms! Brahms' third racket! <laughs> Oh, morning. At uh, two bars. <sighs> Ready to order? Uh, yeah. Uh, what's a, a grail frit? Grapefruit. Oh. <laughs> and uh, crane pot, pot rouge. Oh, Portuguese, tomato soup. I'll have the grail frit. <laughs> uh, now, balm carousel. Lamb? Casserole. Oh, sounds good. Does it come with a smile? Comes with sprouts or carrots. Oh, the smile's extra, is it? You'll get one if you eat up all your sprouts. <laughs> Wait up. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Oh, hello. Uh, can I have some wine, please? The waiter is busy, sir, but I will bring you the cut de vin when I have finished attending to this gentleman. Oh, fine. No hurry. Oh, good. How nice. How very good. I trust the beer is to your satisfaction, sir? Yeah. Fine. Ah, oh, good. May I wish you more appetit? Thank you. Manuel? Senor. Would you fetch the wine list, please? Si, senor. The wine list. See? Si. 
The what? Vino. Say no no no, 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 no. The list. <laughs> there, there, the list. The list there. The, the red cross. Look there. There. Ah. Have you got half a bottle of the Beaujolais? Yes. Oh, fine. Right, never mind, never mind, Manuel. Uh, another great group of table 12, please. Manuel? I do a beg of a pardon. I do apologise. I'm so sorry. Thank you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Throw it away. Okay. Throw it away. Throw it away. Throw it away. <laughs> now! Throw it away! <laughs> sorry, sorry. What do you mean throw? Sorry about that. No, I like a bit of cabaret. <laughs> you, uh, you left your sketch. Oh, sorry. No, it's very good. Do you sell any? Enough to keep me in waitressing. Oh. <laughs> One half bottle of Beaujolais. Simon! Someone at reception, dear. Yes, yes, well, yes. <laughs> uh, well, I was wondering if you could offer me accommodation for a few nights. Well, have you booked? I'm sorry. Have you booked? <laughs> have you booked? I oh, know. Oh, dear. Why, are you full? No, no, we're not full. <laughs> not full? Of course we're not full. <laughs> but I'd like one to... moment, one moment, please. <laughs> yes, uh, single room. Your name, one... please. Could I have your name? A uh, male. One boy. second, please. Hello. <laughs> ah, yes, Mr. O'Reilly. Well, it's perfectly simple. Uh, when I asked you to build me a wall, I was rather hoping that instead of just uh, dumping the bricks in a pile, you might have found time to cement them together. You know, one <laughs> on top of the other in the traditional fashion. Could you fill it in, please? Oh, splendid. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Uh, but when, Mr. O'Reilly? There, there, there. <laughs> yes, 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 but when? Yes, 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 yes. Ah, the flu. Yes. Both names, please. Yes, I should have guessed, Mr. O'Reilly, that of the potato famine, I suppose. Yeah, I um, <laughs> beg your pardon. Would you put both your names, please? Well, would you give me a date? No, I only use one. You don't have a first name. You know, I am Lord Melby, so I simply sign Melby. <laughs> <laughs> Go away. I'm so uh, sorry to uh, captivate your lordship. I do apologise. I see you do accept my forgiveness. Now, is there something, uh, something, anything that I can do for you? Anything? <laughs> uh, yes, well, I have filled this in. Oh, please, don't bother with that. Now, a room. A room, a special room, a single, a double, a suite. Well, we don't have any suites, but we have some beautiful doubles. Oh, no, 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 just a single. Just a single, absolutely. How very wise, if I may say so, Your Honour. Uh, yeah, with a bath. Oh, naturally. Naturally. Naturellement. <laughs> yeah, well, I, shall, uh, I shall be staying oh, for one or two please, nights. please. Manuel! <laughs> well, it's, it's rather grey today, isn't it? Oh, yes, it is rather. Yes, of course, usually down here it's quite beautiful, but today is a, is a real old uh, rotter. <laughs> Manuel! Still, it's good for the wheat. Oh, yes, I suppose so. Oh, yes, I hear it's coming on wonderfully at the moment. Oh, thank God. Oh, I love the wheat. Oh, there's no sight like a field of wheat waving in the... waving in the... Manuel! <laughs> well, how are you? I mean, if it's not a personal question... Well, it is a personal question. Lord Melbourne, let me get your cases for Oh, yes, you. thank you very much. Uh, just outside. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank I won't be one minute. Well, you know, I was thinking of... May I introduce my wife? Yes, we have, Miss. Ah, my wife. May I introduce his lordship? Yeah. Thank you, Basil. We've sorted it out now. <laughs> splendid, splendid. Uh, now, I wonder, could I deposit this case with you? It's just a few valuables. Valuables? Yeah. Of course. Please let me take it now. I'll have it put in the safe straight away. Uh, Sybil, uh, would you put this in the safe, please? I'm just off to the kitchens, Basil. Yes, well, if you're too busy. Nice to meet you, Lord Melbury. Hope you enjoy your stay. Thank you so much. I'll do it then, and I'll do the picture. I'll put this away in one moment, your lord. Uh, Manuel. Yeah. Uh, would you take these cases to room 21? OK. Take to room 21. No, I intend that. Prende las casas. In all, it doesn't matter. I'll do it. Right, thank you. Thank you, Manuel. Oh, I take them. No, no, no. Sit, sit, sit. Go and wait. Go and wait. 
wait, wait, okay, wait. In there! Go and, go and wait in there! Go and be a waiter in there! <laughs> I do apologise, Your Lordship. I'm afraid he's only just joined us. Huh? Be quicker to train a monkey. <laughs> Uh, do please follow me. I mean, if you're, if you're ready, there's no hurry. Oh, yes, yes, no, fine. <laughs> uh, excuse me, I'm sorry to bother you. Uh, would you mind moving to that table? Uh, could I ask you please to move to that table over there? I'm so sorry to trouble you. We are Thank you through. so much. Uh, this is uh, Lord Melbury's table, you see. What? Uh, Lord Melbury, uh, when he yes. stays with us, he always sits at this table. Oh, why did they put us here, then? Uh, an oversight on my wife's part. I'm so sorry. He's only just arrived, you see. Would you mind, Polly? Uh, would you help these people move to Great the table? Great fruit, Andrew. Thank you. Thank you so much. Come on, come on. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, Lord Melbury, do please uh, come this way, Your Lordship. I have your table over here by the window, as usual. <laughs> Just here. Oh, thank, thank you. Me. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, you very much. much. Yes. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, my God. He's killed me. Get over with your meal. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Lord Melbury, I really must apologize Oh, no, 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 again. please, please, think nothing of it. Oh, but it was... No, 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 no. <laughs> Smallest of accidents could have occurred anywhere. Yes, but I mean... It was... No, no, I've forgotten all about it. Well, that's <laughs> most... I mean, you're really... Uh, your Lordship, <laughs> would you allow me to offer you dinner here tonight as our guest? Oh, that's extremely kind of you. Unfortunately, I have an engagement tonight. Oh, oh actually... Yes. Uh, there is one thing. Oh, good, good. Um, I was wondering, uh, can you cash me a small cheque? I'm playing golf this afternoon. Oh, delighted. Uh, I'd rather not go into the tower. Absolutely. I mean, uh, how much? If it's not a rude question. Uh, no, well, uh, could you manage um, 50... Oh, a hundred? Oh! <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, yes. I mean, uh, will a hundred be enough? I mean, a hundred and fifty? Two hundred? A hundred and sixty? Or... Oh, yeah, well, now, let's see. It's dinner tonight, few tips. Oh, and it's the weekend, isn't it? Ah. Would two hundred be all right? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, please! Oh, tremendous! Oh, I'm so happy! Oh, I'll send someone down to the town straight away and have it for you here uh, when you get back. Yes, well, that'll be splendid. Yes. Well, thank you, thank you a lot. Thank you so much. No, not at all. I mean, my, my privilege. Oh, Reading, I mean. Sure. Oh, what? Hello, dear. What are you doing? I'm kissing you, dear. Well, don't. Oh, I thought it might be nice. I thought it was some small side of I heard about lunch. What? Oh, that all. Oh, think nothing of it. What? It was the smallest of accidents. Could have happened anywhere. Anywhere? First you move that nice family in the middle of their meal, and then you attack Lord Melbury with a chair. <laughs> Look, Sybil. I've had a word with Lord Melbury about it. He was quite charming. Oh, it's delightful to have people like that staying here. Sheer class. Golf. Bar. There's engagements. A couple of hundred uh, ho, 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 horses. <laughs> well, I've never seen such tatty cases. Of course you haven't. It's only a true upper class that would have tat like that. It's the whole point. <laughs> oh, you don't know what I'm talking about. No, I don't. But don't ever move guests in the middle of a meal again. And get that picture up. <laughs> so right. <laughs> ah, um, would you do me a favour? Uh, when you're down in the town this afternoon, uh, would you just pop... Just between ourselves, don't mention my wife. Pop into the bank and just.
uh, could somebody answer that, please? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Is there nobody who can answer that? There must be someone. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> right, I'll do it. Oh, I'll never get it up. That's my holiday, do it then. Hello, Forty Towers. <laughs> Hello, Forty Towers. Hello, Brenda. Basil, it's six o'clock. What? Ah, Polly, um, did you cash it? Yes. Mr. Forty. Good, good. Could I have a word with you? What? Could I speak to you in the office Not for just now, a minute? Polly. But it's very important. Later, later. That's all. Yes, I'm just going, dear. Thank you. Thank you so much, Polly. Don't you move to left? Good. Ah, oh, good evening, Major. Evening, Forty. Uh, the usual? Uh, oh, oh, why not indeed, yes. Why not? I've just been uh, watching one of those nature films on television. Oh, yes? Did you know the female gibbon gestates for seven months? Seven months? Yeah. Well, I never... Oh. Here you are, Major. <laughs> seven. Oh, oh, my word. Ah, good evening, Mr. Wary. A gin and orange, a lemon squash, and a scotch and water, please. Certainly. <laughs> oh. Is there any part of the room you would like us to keep away from? <laughs> oh. <laughs> we'll be over there, then. Seven. Well, well. Evening, Fulton. Ah, good evening, Lord Melbury. Anywhere. Yes, anywhere, anywhere. <laughs> uh, Lord Melbury, uh, may I offer you a little aperitif as our guest? Oh, that's very kind of you. Dry sherry, if you please. What else? Ah, <laughs> oh, oh, such... Oh, I don't know what. Je ne sais quoi. Exactly, exactly. Ah, there you are, Sybil. Good evening, Major. Good evening, Mrs. Foldy. There you are, Your Lordship. Oh, thank you very much. I see my little collection of coins tickles your interest. What? Oh, oh, yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> Old British Empire, of course. Yes. Used to be quite a hobby of mine, a little investment, too. Yeah, quite. Um, talking about, um, did you manage... Uh... Oh, yes, yes. Um... There you are, Your Lordship. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes, you know, these sorts of things, they've, their values soared this last couple of years. Have they? Oh, yes, now, you take my advice. You get them revalued and insure them for the full amount. Yes, yes, I will. You can't take any risks nowadays, I'm afraid. No, no, no well, I, I must be off. Well, thank you very much, Your Lordship. I'll, I'll say, yes, I'm just talking to Lord Melbury, dear. Uh, gin and orange, a lemon squash and a squash. <laughs> I do apologise. I was well, just um, talking to... Uh, yes, um, I was, um, I was thinking. Uh, um, <coughs> you see, I am having dinner tonight uh, with the Duke of Buckley. Uh, do you know him? Uh, no, not, uh, not personally, no. Oh, well, uh, he's a great expert, you know, Sotheby's and all that. You see, well, now, if you like, I could take them with me, ask him to have a quick look at them, and uh, find their current value. Would you? Really? Yes, yes, certainly. Yes, now I'll be off in a few well, moments. I mean, that's you know, really so that's a I'm fooling the Lord Melbury. Gin and orange, a lemon squash, and a scotch and water. All right, all right. <laughs> oh, Mr. Forty, was that Lord Melbury? Has he gone? I will, Mr. Forty. I must speak with you. What? Can't you see I'm busy? Please, it's very important. Can we talk in there? I can't. That's it's very important. Uh, I, I'm just uh, dealing with something important out here, Sybil. Thank you. <laughs> yes, yes, all right. Yes, yes, well. Well, yes, yes, right, yes. About Lord Melbury? Yes. He's not Lord Melbury. He's a confidence trickster. I beg your pardon? Mr. Brown told me. Ah. Oh. Mr. Brown's from the CID. They've been watching Melbury because he's pulling some big con trick in the town. They're going to arrest him as soon as he leaves here so as not to cause you embarrassment. But he asked me to tell oh, you so that you wouldn't... Oh, how nice of you. Oh, please, Mr. Brown. Oh, Fitch, I don't got... know what other tales Mr. Brown of MI5 has been impressing you with. He's a con man. Oh, yes, of course. It stands out a mile, doesn't it? He's so common. Unlike that cockney git whose ulterior <laughs> motives will soon, no doubt, become apparent to you, poor, innocent, misguided child that you are. That's what's going nothing, on? Nothing, my dear, nothing at Mrs. all. Mrs. Forty. Now, look. Yes, Polly. I don't know what she's... <laughs> Mr. Brown is from the CID. Huh. He showed me identification. They're watching Mulberry. He's a confidence trickster. I see. What do, what do, what do you mean, you see? Well, let's have a look at these valuables. What, what are you doing, Sybil? Sybil, I forbid you to open that safe. Sybil, I forbid you to take that case out. Sybil, do not open that case. I forbid it. I have forbidden you. I never thought I would live to see the day when a, a peer of the rep trusts to us a case of animals in trust. They're all 
already here. Mr. Brown's outside. Someone at reception, Basil. Yeah. <laughs> ah, um, all right. Uh, good evening. I believe you were expecting us. No, no, I was expecting somebody else. Sir Richard and Lady Morris. Yes, yes, them as well. I'm sorry. How did you know? What? Oh, you were Sir Richard and Lady. Ah, oh, do beg your pardon. I was just the. <laughs> uh, would you mind uh, filling this out, please? Oh, yeah. uh, we've given you room. Aha! Uh, uh -huh. Ah, Fawlty. Mr. Fawlty to you, Lord Melbury. I beg your pardon. Oh, nothing, please. Forget all about it. Ah, well, uh, see, um, check for two hundred pounds. Ah, uh, thank you so much. <laughs> and now, about my priceless collection of coins. Oh yes, do you still? Do I still want you to take them to be valued by the Duke of Buckley, my lord? Oh yes. I uh, know I don't. Because we just heard that the Duke of Buckley is dead. <laughs> yes, got his head knocked off by a golf ball. <laughs> Tragic. Tragic. <laughs> well, how are you, Lord Melbury? How are you then? All right, mate. How's me old bucker? <laughs> Any valuables to deposit, Sir Richard? Any bricks? Oh, or... no. <laughs> I do apologise. <laughs> you bastard! <laughs> Twelve, but if you're overlooking the park, I'm sure you'll like it. We'll have your bags brought up to you. Oh, and may I introduce your wife? Hello, Lord Melbury. <laughs> Bastard! <laughs> Please, um, think nothing of it. Well, oh, 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 do, uh, do please excuse me one moment. Whoa. <laughs> What are you doing? We're leaving. Oh, don't. Please stay. You'll like it here. I've never been in such a place in my life. <laughs> you snobs! <laughs> you stupid, stuck-up, toffee-nosed, half-witted, upper-class piles of... <laughs> oh, just one. Sorry, no. Mr. Fawcett. Just one. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Fawcett. I better put the picture up. Uh, thank you, Polly, for the. Well done, Manuel. Okay. Oh, oh, lay. <laughs> Sorry about that, Mr. Fawlty. Can I buy you a drink? No, no. I better put, put this up as well. Basil. A gin and orange, <laughs> lemon squash. And the scotch and water, please! Right!